Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Saturday, October 29th, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful morning here. Uh, the sun is out, there are a few clouds in the sky, really gorgeous looking day. Unfortunately, the temperature is about 36, and uh, I was, they've been saying all week that this is going to be a beautiful weekend, so I was hoping to maybe do a uh, backyard video today, but uh, not, not when it's 36. Uh, it is going to warm up later today, though, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we've got some, some fun planned for the weekend, so I'm hoping, uh, hoping we can get out and, and do some enjoyable things uh, for, for a bit. Uh, so, yeah, it's the weekend before Halloween, and as I promised, uh, I would show you a uh, special Halloween pipe that I have. And I'm just finishing up uh, some Mixture 79 and, and a cob, which I uh, started earlier this morning. So I'm going to set that aside so that I can bring out the, uh, the guest of honor for today. So the pipe I've got... So first off, I don't have a lot of holiday-specific pipes. I, it's just something that I've not personally uh, gotten into. I've got nothing against them. I just don't have them. Um, but this pipe, I was actually really fortunate to win in a, in a contest uh, when I was... So I, I was involved um, in uh, the uh, Brothers of Briar form, which is an excellent form. And uh, the only reason I'm not involved in it today is uh, that, you know, when I started having some, uh, some medical issues uh, close to a year ago now, uh, it just became... So th not just something had to give, but many things had to give. And, that was one of the ones that I, I just had to, to, to put on the side. I just couldn't be actively involved in in, uh, in that form anymore. I do hope to get back into it. I, I do really like the form. I like the people there. Uh, it's, it's, it's a great deal of fun. So hopefully very soon I'm going to find the time to get over there and uh, make my apologies, reintroduce myself, and get back into the fray. But um, one of the things that they, they have traditionally done, at, at least for a few years now, is a um, Halloween themed contest that uh, I got involved in one year and I was fortunate enough to actually be the winner. And the prize that year was a pipe uh, made by a, a carver named uh, Jesse Jones. And Jesse, I, I got to know him a bit on the forum, uh, he's an incredibly nice guy, mm -hmm. you know, really good kind-hearted person, uh, very active in the pipe community, uh, and a very talented pipe carver. So, and, and he apparently enjoys Halloween as much as uh, many of us do because he uh, you know, really puts some, some effort into this as you're going to see. So the pipe, I don't have a name for it, but the pipe uh, for most of the year lives in its little custom-made casket. <laughs> and this is a, a special box that Jesse made himself for the pipe. And you can see it's actually an old-fashioned casket shape, so it's just absolutely perfect for uh, for a Halloween pipe. And I have decided just because uh, to, to not smoke this pipe year-round. I, I only smoke this pipe around Halloween. So I'll usually take it out of its uh, casket uh, maybe a week before Halloween and, uh, you know, enjoy it a few times and then clean it and it goes back into its casket for, for another year. And uh, so far it hasn't complained, so I'm going to, this is the first time I'm opening the casket for uh, 2016, and yeah, that was a little bit anticlimactic, I know. But here she is, in all of her uh, spooky glory. This is the Jesse Jones Halloween pipe, and you can see it's a... Uh, I guess a, a billiard pokerish. I'm, I'm really bad at this particular shape of pipe. I, I just think all of these are billiards, but I know that at some point they become pokers, and I don't know what makes them pokers. Uh, but it's 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 a it's a nice uh, billiard shape to me. Uh, it's got a, a fairly high bowl and a very ample bowl, um, so you know holds holds plenty of tobacco. Uh, the finish on it is a really beautiful sandblast. So Jesse just did a fantastic job with that. And one of the really neat things about it is the uh, 
is the band that he put on here, which is what really makes it a Halloween pipe, which is these, uh, this, this skull motif band. And then it has a nice, uh, nice comfortable uh, stem that, uh, I, b I believe it's an acrylic stem. Um, yeah, it shows no signs of oxidation, so it, it, it's very likely an acrylic stem. Although, like all good Halloween pipes, it's kept out of direct sunlight, so uh, it may well be vulcanite. Uh, so, very well made, uh, smoked beautifully, and, uh, you know, just, just nice Halloween-themed pipe. Now, the other thing about this pipe is that uh, it's only smoked, and I don't think this is terribly important, but it's just the way things work out, it's only smoked Haunted Bookshop. So, I'm going to fill it up with some Haunted Bookshop while I talk to you, and uh, give it its first smoke of 2016. So with Halloween uh, around the corner, I hope you all have some some fun planned. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I don't. I'm personally not really a big Halloween guy. You know, I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't dress up and decorate the yard and all that kind of stuff. But it, it does seem to be a very popular ho uh, holiday amongst the pipe smoking crowd. And I'm not sure why, but I think it's just because it's a it's a good opportunity for adults to have a little bit of uh, childlike fun. And, uh, and that's, a, that's always a good thing. So while for many years I didn't necessarily pay much attention to it, um, as I've gotten more involved in, in the pipe smoking communities um, on, on the various aspects of, of social media, uh, I've come to appreciate Halloween a bit more as an adult. And uh, while I still don't uh, dress up and scare little children trying to get candy, I, <laughs> I do enjoy the holiday. I, I do... Uh, kind of like the uh, the spookiness around it. What I don't like is when it turns dark, and, and that's one of the things that bothered me in years past. I mean, it, when I was a kid, Halloween was about dressing up as a as an astronaut. Uh, you know, girls would be various types of princesses and, and things like that. Uh, and then you had Batman and Superman and ghosts, maybe. But uh, now it, it seems to be a lot darker, a lot uh, creepier, and yeah, I'm not a big fan of dark and creepy. I think the world is dark and creepy enough on its own. We don't need to, to add to that. But there is something very deep and primal within us that likes to be scared, and that's an interesting thing to think about because, you know, from an evolutionary perspective, we are obviously designed to get away from things that scare us and yet there's something very deep within us that draws us towards things that scare us things like horror movies things like roller coasters um, I wonder what that is it doesn't make a lot of sense Why do you go out of your way, spending time and money, to put yourself in a situation where every reasonable biological system that you have is telling you you should not be in this situation? And of course, in the back of our mind, we know it's all perfectly safe, but it's the front of our mind. Where is it? The uh, it's the non-thinking part of our mind that we're engaging and, and enjoying the, the thrill from. Oh, haunted bookshop. Uh, so the pipe smokes wonderfully. Um, you know, Jesse really is just a very talented uh, maker. And his pipes are, are not cheap, but they're they're reasonable, um, and they're they're certainly worth the the price. And I have to admit, the only <laughs> the only Jesse Jones pipe that I own is is the one that I won in the contest. I, I haven't I I planned to after that. I mean, I was so impressed with this that I thought I would go and you know I've got a long list of pipes I plan to buy. And unfortunately, as you've seen in recent. Uh, weeks, the way I buy pipes is usually not with a lot of forethought, but just, oh, that's something I want. 
So actually sitting down and saying, okay, I want to get a pipe made by such and such a maker, and I'm going to contact them, it, it just doesn't work that way for me. But I will someday get another pipe from Jesse because he he makes wonderful pipes. I will put a link. He, he was at, I think, Jones Pipes was his website, but now he's working through um, Blue... I think it's Blue Room Briar. I'll, I'll check that and I'll put a link down below. Um, and uh, if nothing else, just go over and, and take a look at his work and, and learn a little bit about him. Because like I said, he is a really good guy who, uh, you know, even if you even if you don't want to buy one of his pipes, you, you really do, uh, it, it'll be good for you to, to just see him and, and, and hear a little bit about his story and uh, take a look at the work that he does because he's, he's an artist, no question about it. Does beautiful work. So I don't name many pipes. I, I, you know, if there's something that really jumps out at me about the pipe that that makes me think of a name, I'll sometimes associate that with the pipe. Um, I I really tend to associate them with the day I bought them, the reason I bought them, who was with me when I bought them, you know, that kind of thing. So when I talk about my pipes, I'll often tell you the story of when I bought it because that's the thing that really stands out in my mind with it. And it's funny to think about because the reason you buy the pipe is all the experiences that you're going to have with it. And certainly I have lots of wonderful experiences with you know all the pipes that I smoke. But those aren't the things that... Um, that I remember when, when I pick up the pipe. I remember how I got it. Um, that's kind of interesting. I may be being a bit too introspective today. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to guard against that. Um, but anyway, back to Halloween. Uh, I'm curious what you're all planning for Halloween. Do you, uh, you know, are there parties? Are you, are you doing costume parties? Are you, uh, you know, dressing up to give the kids candy? I'm, I'm sure those of you with kids are. Uh, in a flurry of uh, costume buying and uh, you know making plans for the big night, um, it, the the area that I live in, we I actually live right across the street from an elementary school, and you'd think there'd be an awful lot of children in the area, but Halloween's actually not a big deal in this neighborhood, uh, and I'm not sure why. You know, there's a few families that have children, and my wife will actually make little goodie bags and take it to them uh, because they don't they don't go door to door. It seems. Uh, I think they're more into, like, uh, having Halloween parties. And since we don't have kids, we're kind of out of the loop on that. But I would imagine they have, you know, a couple of kids will have parties in the days leading up to Halloween, and that's where everybody sort of swaps candy. And, you know, I guess in this day and age, that's a, you know, parents at least see that as a safer way to, to handle things. That's okay. I mean, I worry that we're... A little overly paranoid sometimes, but you know the world is different than uh, when I was uh, of a trick or treating age. Here's a question for you: Do you remember your Halloween costumes, and do you have one that stands out? Um, I do. <laughs> I remember. Uh, so there's a couple that I remember just because I, I thought they were really cool. One year I was an astronaut, and uh, I remember the plastic mask. You know, they used to have these plastic masks with the little uh, elastic band around them that you'd, you'd put it on your face, and the elastic band would go around the back of your head, and it, it was really difficult to see because if it slid at all, your eyes weren't lined up with the holes. And um, But I, I had one of those that had a little light in the, the top of it, and there was like a 9-volt battery tucked up underneath it somewhere or the other. Or maybe it was in a pocket, I don't remember. And, and this light could be turned on, and it was part of my astronaut helmet. So that was, that was kind of cool. Uh, but I was really young then. I was you know, probably second or third grade. Um, yeah, I didn't... You know, we we stopped pretty at a pretty early age doing that sort of thing. It was definitely a uh, young kids thing. So usually by the time we were in uh, you know, sixth grade, maybe we didn't didn't do it anymore. And that's when 
you, know, you, you kind of ignored it for a couple of beers, and then in high school parties would would start, and you know, there, actually my high school would have a dance for for Halloween. Uh, you know, those kinds of things happen. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's fun to fun to think back about uh, those things. I remember being so excited looking for the for the costumes or, or trying to gather the stuff to make the costume, and uh, it seemed like the actual trick-or-treating itself took hours and hours and hours. I'm sure it was not that long. Uh, I can't imagine my dad walking us around for uh, <laughs> for all that long. But, uh, yeah, it was always a good time, always something to look forward to. And, uh, you know, a way to kind of mark the, the transition into into fall and, and, and winter and, and so on. And, and it also was sort of a little reward for the back-to-school efforts. You, as much as I dreaded going back to school in September, there was always that promise of, of Halloween in the future. So, yeah, loved it as a kid. Uh, didn't care much for it as, a, <laughs> as an adult until just recently. But uh, now I'm, I'm sort of, uh, over the past few years, enjoying the, uh, the spookiness a bit more. So, anyway, let us know what your plans are. Gonna watch scary movies, gonna dress up, gonna go to parties, whatever. Be be interesting to hear about that. Also, do you have a, uh, a special Halloween pipe? Uh, do you have a special tobacco that you like to smoke this time of year? Well, with that, I've, I've babbled on enough about this. Uh, I hope you, you enjoyed seeing this guy. And he will probably get smoked on... Uh, is Monday the actual day? I think so. so. I'll probably smoke him again on Monday. And then uh, clean him out nicely and he can go back to sleep. I should have asked Jesse to put a little bit of uh, soil from his native land in the bottom of this. It's a Dracula reference. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you to all you guys that subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, please, you know, feel free to comment on this. I'd love to hear more about your Halloween plans or, or whatever may be going on in, uh, in your world right now. So until uh, we meet again, I hope you all take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend and, and, a, and a great week. And I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. And goodbye now.